Hey everyone and welcome, I'm Matt with Chaparral Motorsports. Check us out at shopmoto.com for all of your riding needs. Welcome to our expert level motocross gear guide. Let's have a look. This is our third motocross gear guide of our three part series. We've done an entry level, intermediate, and now this one is for the expert level riders. We've drilled down some of the best gear on the market and assembled this advanced package. Now, this certainly isn't the least expensive gear, but when you're at the top of your game, you need every advantage to get yourself to the podium. This is just our opinion. There's a lot of other gear to choose from available at shopmoto.com. Also, to keep yourself in the loop with the latest and greatest, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Now, let's begin. So we feel that base layers are super important to your performance. The compression helps to reduce fatigue to the muscles, the moisture wicking fabric pulls away unwanted sweat, and it also reduces the amount of irritation to the skin. So what we chose is the Virus Stay Cool Sleeveless Compression Shirt. I'm a huge fan of Virus products, they work great, and what I really like about it is that they have jade infused into the material. So Virus claims that this reduces skin temperature by up to 10 degrees, which is incredible. It also has that four-way stretch fabric, a deep v-neck collar, and a sleeveless design so it feels like it's not even on your body. You have unlimited range of movement, and again, it is moisture wicking, so it's really going to pull that sweat away from your body. Now, the shorts, these are a little bit different than your typical compression short. These are Chorley Designs 7605 Protection Shorts. So you do have that Lycra material. It is a four-way stretch and it's also moisture wicking. However, you have Shock Doctor technology incorporated into the outer thigh. So this is more of an energy management system. So it's gonna disperse the load of a crash rather than going straight to the rider. You also have tailbone protection, pads on the inner thigh and in the seat of these things. So it's gonna reduce chafing and they're gonna be super comfortable and allow you to move with your bike. Now to cap off the base layers, we chose the EVS Tug Fusion Socks. These are great because you have a two into one. You have a compression sleeve, also the motocross sock. So in the footbed, it's very comfortable. Again, moisture wicking fabric, and it goes all the way up to about mid thigh. You also have a silicone band in the cuff, so this is gonna keep the sock in place while it's on your thigh. What's really important is that it's gonna keep your knee braces in place. This is gonna optimize the protection. So this is a key part to your base layer system. Now moving on to the knee braces. Our number one pick in this category are the Mobius X8. Now these things have gone through countless hours of R&D, years of testing, and they even brought in Ryan Villapoto to collaborate with to bring a brace to the market that's up to pro standards. Now here's what we really like about them. They're extremely lightweight, durable, and they have a really slim profile design. So they tuck under your pants very nicely and they tuck into your boots seamlessly. One of the nicest features on these braces is the CCRS, the Continuous Cable Routing System. So pretty much what they have here is a figure eight steel cord that wraps around the back portion of your knee to keep the brace in place. And then you have supporting straps so that you get the best fit possible. And this is also going to stay in position to offer the maximum amount of protection. Now, knee braces are really going to help to prevent major knee injuries like hyperextension, lateral rotation, and even lateral bending. Those types of injuries can sideline you for a really long time. So as an expert rider, these are a key component to keep yourself protected. And not to mention they're CE approved, you have full coverage when your knee is in the full bent position, plus the foam's very comfortable and it's easily washable. Moving to upper body protection, we've got the Troy Lee Designs 5900 Roost Deflector. This is another great piece of Shock Doctor technology. So it's completely lined with this special foam and this is designed to disperse the energy away from the rider. So it lessens the impact and it's more than just your standard roost deflector, it's also CE approved. Now this thing has a really low profile design, so you can wear it under your jersey or over top. Either way, it's gonna work seamlessly with a neck brace because it was specially designed to work with them. So you'll see that it's cut lower in the front, a little lower in the back, and it's lined with 3D mesh, which allows airflow to complement the venting. This thing has 50 different configurations to accommodate the rider so you get the perfect fit and you have full coverage as far as protection goes. So you have protection in the clavicle, chest, ribs, and also all down the back. It does come in two colors and it's available in two different sizes, so there is something for everybody. Now moving on to the actual gear, the jersey and the pant. This stuff is incredible. We chose the 2016 Thor Prime Fit Gear and it's just as comfortable as your everyday pajamas and I say that with all joking aside. So let's talk about the pants first. The entire chassis is made with a stretch polyester spandex. So you have all the flexibility that you need to move in any direction while you're on the bike and they give you additional flex zones in the hips, across the yoke, 
across the knees and all the way down back on the calves. This will accommodate knee braces very, very nicely and that's an added plus. Now since the fabric isn't as thick as like a 600D, they give you extra heat protection in the inner leg area so you have a massive leather panel there for extra protection. There is some adjustability in the hips with these Velcro straps and you have a ratchet style enclosure with Velcro for a sure fit. Now moving up to the jersey, this is equally as cool. You have a four-way stretch in the main core. So again, you have all that flexibility that you need and it fits very, very nicely. A nice athletic fit. And the entire jersey uses a moisture wicking fabric to pull away sweat from your body. The sleeves are one of my favorite parts on this entire setup. They're more of like a compression sleeve, so it reduces the amount of flapping or that parachute effect while you're at higher speeds, and the entire fabric is moisture wicking, so it's going to pull away any unwanted sweat. Now you do have mesh panels in dedicated heat zones like under the armpit, inner bicep, and across the torso, even on the cuff. So this stuff is extremely breathable and it's really going to keep you performing at your best. It does come in three different colors. You see the red here. It's also available in a blue and also a white. Now, I really like the graphics as well. It's very clean and simple. This is definitely some next level race wear. Just like a good set of knee braces that would prevent injury, so do a good pair of boots. And that is exactly why we chose the Garnet SG12s. These are amongst the best boots in the business. And just keep in mind that Garnet is only a boot company. That's all they put their focus into. With that being said, these are a non-booty design, which I prefer because it reduces the amount of heat buildup in the footbed area. You have Garnet's memory cell foam, which not only adds total comfort, but it also gives you a lot of support in the ankle area. Now this does have a double hinge design along with the blade system, so this is going to, again, prevent major ankle injuries. It's also going to limit that range of movement. Now, in the medial portion of the boot, you have this really nice tacky rubber material. To add heat protection, it's also going to be a good contact point to your bike to give you exceptional feel. It's also vented and it's fully adjustable in the shin area to accommodate many different styles of knee braces, especially the Mobius X8s. It does come in eight different colors and ranges and sizes from eight to 14. And with all of these features, it was easy for us to choose the SG12s as our number one pick. Here's something that's often overlooked and many pros aren't wearing them these days, but we still feel that it's necessary for your safety. We've got the Atlas Carbon Neck Brace. Right off the bat, it is 12% lighter than the previous carbon. It uses a really low profile design, so you feel that you're not wearing anything. And what's pretty unique about this brace is that it uses a split frame design in the rear. So you've got this tether to connect two pieces together to give you natural movement of your shoulders. And in the front, it uses this suspension setup. So it's gonna disperse the amount of energy going through to the rider much better and across your body. So ultimately, it's going to protect your spine and your neck. You do have 360 protection. It's fully adjustable to accommodate different size riders. And what's nice about it is that it's essentially waterproof. So it's very easy to clean in between motos. Something that you will find in the box to connect everything is a strap. So it's gonna prevent the brace from having that floating effect. Moving on to the most advanced product on this table, the Bell Moto 9 Flex. And I'll tell you why it's such a game changer and our number one pick as far as helmets go. They use a three layer energy management system. They've got three different densities of foam to protect you against a wide scenario of crashes that you can come across while riding. First off, you've got the EPP liner. Combined with the EPO, this is for mid-speed crashes. The EPO is the softest layer and it's also the mid-layer. This is for low-speed crashes and even low-speed tip-overs and corners. Then you've got the EPS liner, which is the hardest and it brings the helmet up to Snell rating. The liner is also segmented into six different pieces. They move five millimeters apart from each other, so this reduces the amount of rotational forces caused by the helmet in the event of a crash. This is all constructed within the composite carbon shell, which reduces the overall weight of the helmet. Not to mention it flows a ton of air due to those different layering systems. And you can't forget the creature comforts that Bell's known for, like the magnetic emergency cheek pads, the quick flip screws, and it comes ready to accept the eject system. It is available in multiple colors and comes in sizes extra small through 2XL. This is the Bell Moto 9 Flex. All right, now we're in the home stretch and I wanted to talk to you about our goggle of choice. We chose the Oakley Air Brakes because they were really the first company to revolutionize the goggle. This is something that went untouched for many, many years and I think what they did is excellent. Now, they're using injected molded plutonite lens, which is impact resistant, also UV and scratch resistant. What's cool about it is that it already comes pre-curved because of the injection molded process. So this pulls out any distortion in the lens that may be caused when you're putting it into the frame. Now, speaking of that, the switch lock technology makes swapping lenses super, super easy and you can do it in a matter of seconds. 
What it's also going to give you is a wider peripheral view and also better straight line view because of how tall the lens is. The absorbent foam is exceptional. It conforms to your face, it is triple layer, and it feels great against the skin. Now, although these goggles are a little pricey, every single part on them is replaceable so it adds longevity to them. There's tons of color variations to choose from. The color that we chose for this gear set are the new Ryan Dungey editions, which look great. And to cap everything off, we've got the Thor Void Glove. This is a slip-on style to give you a lightweight, minimalist feel, a single layer, fully perforated palm, and you have a four-way stretch to give you feel and mobility on the controls. So there you have it. That's our opinion on high-tech, high-quality racewear that'll give you the advantage to get you to the next level. Use this as knowledge when choosing premium motocross gear. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch our motocross gear guide video for the expert level, and don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube. I'm Matt. We'll see you next time.